beautiful week on your One Stop Family Breakfast Show. Yes, indeed. It is an absolute pleasure to begin this week with you guys out there, beautiful people of Nigeria. You guys make our every single effort worth it. Yeah, that word effort, mm. yeah. Yeah. It's a big deal. It's that deal. word effort, especially <laughs> on a Monday for everyone out there. And uh, now after the weekend, it might take a little bit of time to plunge in and get started with a spirit-filled enthusiasm. Hmm? Yes, indeed. We know this. And hey, it's okay if you don't feel like getting out of bed or starting yeah. your hours early this Monday morning. It's a Monday. Hey, we understand. But it would <laughs> definitely get better as the day progresses, especially yeah. because you are right here with us, both of us. Oh, no, not just both of us, because guess who's back? It's not Eminem. It's the one, the and only, Mike, Mike Mazzucchelli! I promise you, free food, free water, <laughs> free light, just votes for me. Oh, baby, the one with the promise of some call in that team. Oh, yeah. Right, guys, how was your weekend? Our weekend oh, was good. great, man. How was your holiday? Oh, um, uh, that It was good. It was good. Mm. Uh, for plenty of bus bus, I, yeah, the other day, the other day, low notes, Anthony Joshua, but we'll talk about that. Hey, later. man, oh. let's get to it when we get to talking. Yeah, it's really it's great to see you, Mike, and you yep. look yes. amazing. Good to yep. see you back. Yep. Yeah. It looks all fresh it's and very fresh. fresh. He doesn't know the work we have to go through. Nah, for the I past three weeks, we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> it's good to have you back, but yep. you can have your sports back. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> the show progresses, and you're welcome to a brand new perspective on life as we bring it to you. It's going to be fantastic. My name is Mazino Peel. And I'm Titi Laya Oyin. So remember, you can always use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the show. Mm -hmm. And you want to remember that you can always watch us live from absolutely anywhere you might be across the world on our mobile app that you can download on iOS or on Google Play Store. Yeah, we give you access to follow us on all social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, and especially TikTok right TikTok. now. That is really on fire mm -hmm. at TVC Connect. Yes, indeed. Now, welcome to our Monday once again, and let's let you know what we have for the lineup mm -hmm. this Monday morning. Everyone needs some form of motivation on a Monday, except Mike, of course, and this Monday, Ekundayo Ayeni, a digital marketing expert and alumnus of the Harvard International University. Now, uh, he's uh, the executive program, actually. He'll be discussing the future of digital marketing with us here on the show. And on SME today, we'll have Sarah Mume Ikogo, the CEO of Detail Africa, a Nigerian company operating in the fashion industry. Now, they're really committed to solving youth unemployment by training young people and women from un underserved communities. Now, that's a really, really interesting angle for this leather artisan. We'll be hearing a lot more from them very, very soon. I think bags are my thing. Uh. I actually think bags are my thing. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. I, I, I found out that uh, when I go to a boutique, I don't really get tripped about the clothes mm -hmm. or the hair. But if I see a bag, mm. I just want it. Same way if you see Anthony Joshua, you just want him. Uh, oh. Well. Uh, not anymore. Sorry, that British boxer <laughs> was really, really terrible. That was an interesting wasn't he? segue. Notice eh? that I said British boxer. Mm, it, wow. So yeah, look, it, wow. You know, we've all. I, Anthony Joshua is Nigerian. But you see, I, mm. I always be pragmatic. Tell yourself the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not. He's too nice. He's too mm. nice. Boxing is not like football or tennis where, I mean, you want to beat somebody, you have to be as aggressive as possible. Okay. And Joshua is taking selfie. I mean, before he's... He a selfie with did you see their, Did you see their way? Mm. The coolest way. Mm. I mean, they're taking selfies with each other and doing like this. Hey. There was no anger. It wasn't anger, It's for yeah. TikTok. That's, that's... Do you understand? It was, hey, hey, hey. No, but you, what, have that, you seen... That, have that, you seen has that got I mean, anything to do with the main fight itself? So there is a testosterone it build has. Has. that really? happens. Very, very important. It has. It's just like... Two bulls in a bullfight. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It has. They pit yeah. them, against, they they pit that, them yeah. against themselves. Testosterone builds up. It get, they get angry with each other so that they can fight better. Have you seen a Floyd mm -hmm. uh, in mm -hmm. Muhammad Ali? After yeah. the fight, they, you see them hog and, yeah. oh, but man, before, it was a good one. But before that but before, one. because you want, you, want to, yeah. you want to intimidate the person. Mm -hmm. you, you, you want to win before the fight starts. It's yeah. very important. So are you putting it all, all it's just to that? No. no. It's, it's, it's Quite a number personal. of other factors. But I, think, I think that even if he was taller and he had better reach, I just think that it was a bad idea to actually lose weight, if you ask me, because all mm. that bulk was missing. Look who you're fighting against. First yeah. of all, that guy was pretty bulked up. He was pretty bulked. Yeah. So, it's telling me that you Wait. want to be much more nimble without packing that wall uh, the up guy, in there. The guy yeah. is fast, and I think, and I agree with you. Maybe he, yeah. he cannot be as fast as, as yeah. that guy. In a few months, he had to prepare. Exactly. But he had reach. He had height. They'd use in it his, to he, his advantage. I mean, and look, if he, he was saved by the bell. 
he wow. would have been knocked out. Oh, goodness. Oh, I mean, poor Joshua. Oh, my God. Well, no matter what, Anthony, we're always for you. We always are. We're always for you, Anthony. I mentioned, I love him. Great heavyweight boxer. But if he goes up against Siri, Siri will lick his butt. Oh, Ooh. goodness me. Yes, for Monday wow. morning, that's what he's wow. serving. He's back, Mike Mexicano. <laughs> and you're welcome. It's a Monday morning. Let's do the news. My name is Mazino Appeal. Now, we begin in Sokoto State, where gunmen suspected to be armed bandits have allegedly attacked a joint military base codenamed Borkusuma Camp located in Zabun, Berning, local government area of Sokoto State. Now, sources within security circles confirmed to TVC News that 17 persons were killed in the attack and several personnel are still missing. Residents say the bandits came in large number and began shooting at the camp from every side. But a former chairman of uh, Sabun uh, Berni, rather, Idris Mohammed, confirmed to newsmen that the Bokusuma camp was attacked and that several security operators in the camp were still missing. He said the bandits also burnt down two patrol vehicles and carted away another one, which was used to convey food items stolen from the villages. He said over 10 trucks conveying armed military personnel are currently in the forest trailing the bandits. A personnel of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, who sought for anonymity, confirmed to our reporters that three of their corps members were among the casualties. And operators of the NDLEA have uncovered a hotel in Abuja where drugs are sold and young ladies were being camped for commercial sex. At least four persons, three ladies and a man, were arrested when the hotel was raided and some quantity of uh, rufinol and uh, paraphernalia for smoking crack cocaine were recovered. According to a statement signed by the NDLA Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Babafemi, investigations revealed that the hotel is operated without requisite approval in a high-profile neighborhood. Chairman, Chief Executive of NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Barmarwa, um, retired, has directed the FCT command and the de Directorate of Assets and Financial Investigations of the agency to do all within its law to ensure the property is forfeited to the federal government to serve as deterrent to others. In a related development, two female part uh, one students of Edo State Polytechnic, Babalola uh, Angel, uh, aged Babalola Angel, aged 19, and 20-year-old Asego Bey Sonia were arrested within 21, or rather with 21 wraps of skunk. Another lady, Chioma Okocha, aged 25, was also arrested as she tried to deliver 200 grams of crack cocaine to a customer at an eatery in Benin. Outside Nigeria now, polls in Germany have closed in one of the most unpredictable elections in its uh, recent history. Now, with Angela Merkel's uh, conservative and also center-left social democrats in a tight race for her crown as she prepared to leave the political stage. Tens of millions of voters headed for polls, uh, polling stations on Sunday to determine the country's next government and the councillor who will lead it. Now, but exit polls show a neck-and-neck -neck race between Merkel's Christian Democrats and rival Social Democrats. The election is the first since the country re, uh, re -reunite, uh, reunified in 1990 that Merkel will not run in as a candidate. Christian Democrats, uh, I mean Laschet, and also Social Democrats Olaf Scholz are um, front-runners in the race to uh, replace Merkel. And that's it for the news this Monday morning. Do stay tuned. It's a different yeah. arrangement today because yeah. Mr. Mike is back and we have missed, it we've missed your input, man. When How was it before? Huh? So it's a different arrangement. And now yeah. before it was MM that now you're back and we can go uh, to how, how many weeks on? Yeah. Uh, but before okay. we do that, let's let you know what's inside of the headlines you might be waking up to this mm. morning from the Punch newspaper. We've got this on Northern Governors, uh, Governors Meet uh, on VAT today. Sands berate uh, Malami and Lagos Clubhouse cakes as uh, 100 policemen thugs demolish buildings and arrest oh, wow. workers. Uh, <laughs> BBN Niger season six. Uh, why I think white money is going to win, says Angel. And of course, you know who was evicted yeah. yesterday. The duo left. What <laughs> other headlines do you have? On uh, The Guardian, we have mm. fuel scarcity looms as marketers, suppliers contend with hurdles, which seems to be kind of a regular headline in, mm. uh, in our climate. Uh, nothing to celebrate on Nigeria's 61st independence, says Wiki. Mm, interesting. Mm. Uh, Serap urges Buhari to name alleged looters of the six trillionaire NDDC funds. And Bagudu, or uh, yeah, Bagudu shuns Lai Mohammed's turbaning mm. as Ganduje 
announces new Emir of Gaia. Okay. Yeah. There's a few of the headlines you might be waking up to this morning, depending mm -hmm. on what you choose to pick. Now, let's talk about what it is we're gathered here to do. Okay. Yeah. Let's start with what we've yeah, come into the room to do. Sound like a yeah, I want to start <laughs> with <laughs> Mike. Mike, you have like to tell us what you were doing over like the past Jew. three weeks. You have to give no, us No, 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 I don't have to. <laughs> you, you actually, you I don't have, have to. to. You have to let us know how much fun come you on, have. Come on, man. No, it was good to take a break from the norm. I feel like everybody at different times considering that we wake up so early i mean yeah. waking up this morning like if you know was like, i don't know was it? <laughs> okay no i don't know like it, there were i don't know it was pity no no i don't want to use what pity is but you know waking up by <laughs> when you have to look at your phone when it's when you wake up and okay i know it's not yet time for the alarm to ring but it's going to ring very soon exactly and that then sleep doesn't want to come like, and then oh let me i need to sleep <laughs> i have started but hey come on it was just a time to mm. um to rest family time some mm. other things and all yeah. that and it was good yeah was good so was health good. wise we know good. we're having a conversation about how important it is to get rest mm -hmm. oh. uh, and a lot of people don't end up resting for whatever reason um even though they do, you do take their this? leave yeah. This is saying this. What? This is this that will come and say you don't sleep to make a bill. This is a bill, man. Exactly. Yeah. I she said you don't sleep. Oh, Titi, but now, Titi, Ooh. Titi is now speaking about billions and billionaires. <laughs> yeah. You guys were aware what happened over the weekend regarding um, certain socialites, Bobriski being one of them and Mofa mm. being the other one. Something mm. about Bobriski's PA mm. telling ab mm. uh, about certain preferences for mm. both individuals, which yeah. didn't go down well. Mm. It brought the question to light that what happens if you are implicated or brought in front of the public jury of social media, social media. Over, over something that might not be true. Or maybe yeah. it's true, or but maybe how, it's true. Do, how you do you react? react? What do you do? So because do in this say? case, Mofa went guns are blazing, boom, boom. <laughs> Guy, click, click. You have to debunk it. I mean, seriously, yeah, tell them. Yeah, I get you. So it, it kind of so like it does buttress depend, some It really points. does depend on the sort of field you find yourself in. Mm. Okay. If you are someone in the media, then you understand how um, gossip works. Mm -hmm. You have to fuel gossip for it to go further. To keep going, yeah. Um, keeping quiet tends to make things die down quicker, mm. even though depending it is painful, on it is. depending on what it is. Mm. Um, but the thing is, to me, the most effective way is to actually go the legal route. Mm. And actual, actually seek legal redress on the matter. If someone uh, says so, something uh, bad about you, me, get mm. a Sorry, lawyer mm. Sorry, to mm. speak mm. on your behalf. Mm. Don't me. speak. <laughs> litigation Don't is not something that is in our culture, number one. Number yeah. two, the fact that if you, if you want to sue mm. anybody in Nigeria, you are just, you are, you're starting one very long process. Very. People are not. Yeah. Can, don't have that patience. Well, you anymore. know, the very internet never so forgets. If you, if but you the thing is, a legal document will also go online. If, and help defend you. If you mm. think, yeah, mm. coming from what you said, the first thing is bringing stuff out. You know, um, I, but really now I don't have a problem because social media to a lot of people is um, it's a diary. Mm. I just want to put yeah. up stuff. I want to document Garbage stuff. I want to keep up stuff. So I think right. it's, it, it has gone past mm. the point where we talk about uh, are we putting out too much? Mm. Well, that mm. discussion, we've gone past that mm. level now. Mm. People put out everything for consumption and all that. But then, putting, uh, you see, um, if it's something incredulous for me, if it's something that I could, I, there are some things you don't need to respond mm. to. Yeah. And at times, like in this particular situation, when you respond and then you open your case, sort of will come out and then you start seeing some receipts and then it seems yeah. like you're guilty because yeah. you're trying to fight back yeah. so much mm -hmm. yeah. and so hard. Mm. I mean, too much if somebody, yeah, yeah, if it's something that would not, I know of some people who have been accused of things, we know of somebody yeah, exactly. and that it affects so much. Yeah. At that point, it's okay to fight back, it's okay to say something, you know. But in, in such a scenario, especially if coming from who the, the people talking, yeah. do they have the credibility? Oh, yeah, that was my point. Yeah. I mean, do they have exactly. the credibility? Listen, why are you why bothering? Do you have to step down into the mud from your Jeep exactly. and start exactly. with everybody. I'm like, you don't do it if you you're don't not, need to. If, if you don't want to, to be, so, your name to pop up with these kinds of people. So the question is, to who is to... advising him? Mm. Who are his inner circle? Huh. Are they the ones telling him, ah, you must talk, or, ah, uh, you know, or to this are time, they the ones if you're telling to him instance, to calm if down? If you're referring to, to that instance, yes. we're talking yes. about now, yes. now it was, uh, what's the word, spontaneous. I think yeah. that his response it was just on this spontaneous. On the spore of the moment, like, I just heard this. You know, this was, as much as I don't like talking about, this was about almost close to the same thing that happened with Toto DK. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, yeah. and the yeah. ex-boyfriend and mm -hmm. all that stuff flying around and all, mm -hmm. all of that, you know? There's just been so much. There are some things that you just let it pass. I mean, mm -hmm. look at what Tubaba did. Yeah. He waited. Now, you know, waited and then put out a statement that yeah. at the end of the whole thing, yeah. everyone's like, uh, you should okay. shut up. Like, exactly. to themselves. <laughs> yes. Not exactly. to, to, like, yeah. what's the now, point? For me, okay. that was the most 
mature, mature um, um, response that anybody has ever come up with in mm. recent times regarding mm. anything that has either implicated or accused them on that something. public jury mm -hmm. of social media. And it media. became very bad it when was, families started it, coming exactly. in, saying stuff, the you, sister's family, my own yeah, brother. It, just go and tell all them shut up. It was very, it was, it was very, like I said, it was very mature, and I think that that was the best you can do. Yeah. Just don't get too involved in all the social media things because mm. yeah. it's just gonna, it's just gonna leave a stain on just. you. And plus, you said internet never forgets. Exactly. Mm. It's just mm. gonna so keep just going. make sure your team, your legal team, is ready to address anything that could affect your business and you, the people who are partnering with your business. But like he you said, know, because that's that's really all they need. They need mm -hmm. to see a proper mature response. Not dragging online. Mm. That's the truth. And then especially when we are in a, we're in a situation, but these people are not, it doesn't apply in their case. Most other cases where you are associated with some brands mm -hmm. yeah. and brands don't like some level of, not Ex all publicity yeah. is good, really. Yeah. In the real sense of what someone mm. says, bad publicity, good publicity, all mm. is good. No, not all. There's some, there's some kind of publicity that will make a lot of people distance themselves mm -hmm. from, yeah. you, themselves sure. from you. Yeah. And in, the, in this particular scenario, I don't know of anybody who was affiliated with these people under such circumstances. Yeah. So, but if you are, if you have such a decent, like you said, yeah. the best thing, I mean, remember what happened with Nidu and all of that. Yeah. Next best thing is to go through a legal counsel yes. and get some legal advice. Mm -hmm. I would also want to say that all of this, while we're talking about this and sort of like the internet is celebrating it, the fact is that these are, we're talking about individuals Human who thrive on, on <laughs> these kinds of <laughs> these controversial kind of publicity. publicity. Yeah. So yeah. the truth is, it might still be engineered <laughs> at the end of the day. For some of them, they might actually be enjoying it and <laughs> yes, hoping that the the next morning show is going to talk about them, mm -hmm. but I think we've succeeded to do that with like, less of their names. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly, like, exactly. like, like we are doing that, well, yeah? Well, we, we, we engineered this in a way that it was not less about them, but more about the instance, mm -hmm. and I, I think that's how it's supposed yeah. to be, so mm. we don't encourage yeah. too much But guys, I would, I would like to ask, if anything, God forbid, should come out about me, mm -hmm. please guys, ask me first. Nah, no, nah, nah. don't, don't. True. <laughs> no, definitely. True. I've, true. Always, true. I've always said come that. Come to me. If something yeah. comes out, let me just run up. If something comes out about my friend or somebody, yeah. You know, I won't just jump out social media. I'll yeah. go first, guy. If yeah. you do, I'll make we beg. Exactly. I will join you and beg. <laughs> yes, you, you understand? We say we are sorry. But not yes, when I go and defend you and then you know I mess up. But hey, come on. <laughs> he, makes, he makes sense. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Tell us what you think. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We will be back. Good to have you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. You have good a lovely morning. smile. I like yeah. that. Okay, so um, I love to spread out here. We have a wonderful spread. Let's talk about what we have here. What are we doing this morning first? Okay, this morning we'll be cooking uh, our farm soup. Let's close this show. It's me and Chef Ugo. We should just have fun soup. Wow, yeah. this is interesting. Okay, so let's look at our ingredients here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, take us through. This is my alfam. Mm. Already grounded. Okay. This is my prewiko. Okay. This is my fresh pepper. Mm. This is my crayfish and mm. bonga. I grounded mm. it together. Okay. And this is my palm oil. Your palm oil. My okay. season. Okay. And the uh, water leaf. Water for leaf. It. Okay. This is my meat already boiled with fish. Oh la la. Cow skin. What? And stockfish. Pomo? It's inside there. Hey, this pomo is looking wonderful. And then, so, uh, what's what's. Uh, I'm going to serve this with semovita. Ah, this is a wonderful meal. This is a wonderful meal. Now, hey, for those of you who might not have taken up, let's take a look at uh, uh, this. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at this. This is, this is, um, so what do we, like, what, what do we have here? We have a, uh, we have a uh, beef. Okay. Beef, okay. stockfish, cow skin. Okay. And uh, dry fish. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. We're cooking afang, we're cooking afang soup. And uh, uh, se semo, semo wonderful. This semo is well, very refined and all of that. Okay, let's get straight to it. So what's the first thing? How do we start with this? Yeah. We're already boiling, do we boil this? This yeah. was already pre-boiled yeah, to already our next stage. This. Okay. First, I washed my meat. Okay. And the season with salt and uh, ordinary seasoning cubes. Okay, seasoning cubes. So yes. that has already been done. Yes. Here Before on this adding one. my stock fish, when mm. it start boiling, okay. I add my stock fish. Okay. Then allow it to cook for half, half cooked. Okay. Then I add my dry fish okay. and the cow skin. Okay. Yeah. Now you can see the beef is already. Soft. Okay. Now, so we start adding other ingredients. Ingredients. Okay, yeah. so the beef is the main thing. That's where we start from first. Yes, uh, yes. Wonderful, yes, wonderful. Yes. So let's see what. Ah, oh God, this is this pear winkle. This yeah, is salmon. Oh, 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 God. The already, you know, it's two types. It looks very luscious. Uh, you said what? It's two types, eh? Yeah. Okay, then, which it, type is this one? This is already removed. Okay, so yeah, there, there's one people, with it. Yeah, some people love using the shell one. Hmm. 
Which one do you love? Let us know. Do you love um, your periwinkles removed or do you love it with the shell? Because uh, some people, you know, they love that they sucking. Love them. Uh, exactly, okay. you know, it makes it. But this one is already um, removed and all yeah. of that. So let's 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 get to it. Let's start. Let's start. Okay. So what's so, the first thing I get into here? So first thing I'm adding now the meat and the fish. Everything is ready. Okay. So the next ingredient to be adding here is my palm oil. Oh wow. Palm oil. I love palm oil. Because I feel like palm oil can do what granite oil can do, but not all granite oil can do what palm oil can do. <laughs> so, okay. I add my palm oil. Mm, all right. And okay. I'm going to let this to cook, boil okay. together, all right. at least for five minutes. Okay. At what temperature? Is it going to be very high? Yeah. Okay. Um, Medium or high, not Minimum too high. high. Okay. So while this is, we're going to wait this for to get ready in five, five minutes. Five minutes, yes. eh? Okay, while while we're getting that, let's 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 talk about your your business. Um, you on okay. you on social media and all of that. How long have you been cooking? How long have you been a chef? Mm, I've been a chef for a long time, mm. like ten years. Ten years. How did you learn? Self taught, or did you have to go to? Um, I like, went to the school. Normally, okay. I'm a continental chef. Woo! Yes, I worked for White. What does what does what, when you say continental? What do you mean by continental? Continental is a foreign food. Oh, like Chinese. Okay. India, Thai, Greek, Thai uh -uh. Philippines. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And then, you can, and then you can also do our local food yeah, also. I can do our local food. Apart from Nigeria dishes, mm. I cook extra five country. That is wonderful. What does it? What does what? What is cooking to you? Is this something that you're very passionate about? Is it just yeah. business for you, yeah. or is this something you know that you're very passionate about? Cooking is my. Let me say, is my hobby. Mm. It's what you I love, love doing. It's what you love doing. Yes, yeah, so I put my interest on it, and mm. every day I want to learn more. I want to learn new things every mm. day. So I go far to get what I want than sitting. Oh, okay, wonderful. Doing nothing. Wonderful. So I love cooking, and wonderful. that is why I love Chef, because you're an inspiration, because of this thing that you're doing this morning, this <laughs> is serious wahala. Let's take a look <laughs> at the ingredients once again. We'll roll mm. them over. Take a look at them, of course. Um, we have uh, uh, beef, of course, we had already yeah. seen that. Beef. There's a dry fish, there's a palm oil, there's water a water leaf, leaf there's a stock fish, periwinkle. there's periwinkle, there's okay. okazi leaf. leaf, and all of that. And like five five minutes. minutes, we allowed it to boil for five yes, minutes. Okay, yes. so let's 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 so get to it. Next one, I'm adding my crayfish. Mm, I know Mazuno does not like crayfish. Mm, so. Bonga. Titi also does not like crayfish. <laughs> so I'm already casual there plenty. I'm adding my fresh pepper. Oh. Mazuno likes pepper, I know. Nah, nah, but the crayfish is the one that. So if you don't, those of you that have an allergy for crayfish, some people have allergies for crayfish, yeah? This is, uh, okay, I know a number of people do. So for those of you that have allergies, you might not want this one, but you can ah. do it without crayfish, right? For people mm. that might not like it. Mm. Or there has to be crayfish. There have to be crayfish. Oh, wow. If you don't want crayfish, you can use bonga fish. Okay. Or grounded do you, fish. Do you grind the bonga fish? Yes. Yeah? Oh, okay. Or I get, grounded fish. I get, I get you yes. now, I get you now. Yeah. Wonderful. Now okay. it's boiling. Hmm. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So the yafang soup, like I know, it's a native, it's a staple of uh, uh, the like southern, southern South, Nigeria, yeah. of course, uh, Akwaibom, Akwaibom and uh, Cross River State yeah, and all of that. Soup. All right, wonderful. So for those of you who are just joining, let's take a look at uh, the ingredients that we have uh, for this afang soup this morning. We have beef, there's dry fish, there's palm oil, there's water leaf, there's stockfish, there's periwinkle, and there's okazi leaves. Yeah. And if you just started, we started first of all with the meat. Boiled we got the meat, meat and all of that boiled and ready. Stockfish. Yeah. Stockfish. It was pre boiled, our stockfish, and, and dry, also dry fish. our dry fish. And, and, this, and this soup, there's one thing about this soup. Mm. This soup, some people like adding onion. But if you want to make it traditional, mm. no onion. Oh, wow, you heard that? Yes. If you want to you make it that? pure tradition, no onions. No onions, yeah? yeah? Okay. How long will this boil for before we move to the next stage? Yeah, it's ready now. It's ready to put up other things? Yes, yes. It, what else now, are we putting? I'm adding my water leaf. Oh, okay. This is where our water leaves come in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, look at this. I love water leaf, water leaf. Wonderful, wonderful. It's not too much, yeah? This no. is spooky. Okay. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. This is going to be a lovely meal. Okay. But the water leave, we don't need to let it boil so But I've long. noticed that you've not really, there's no water, you've not put water in no, this thing. No, 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 no. Ah, ah. Because you know, this water leaf, they call it water leaf. Oh, okay. Yes, when it's boiling, you will see the water coming All out. Right. Okay. In this soup, we don't need much water on we this We don't, soup. we don't, we don't. 
Okay, wonderful. We'll still get back to see what we're doing and see the final process. Uh, okay. We'll get to see when the periwinkle and all the afan gets in, but we'll just take this time out. Now, the first lap is done. The second lap of the show is coming right up after this break. Yeah. Oh, yes. Welcome back. Now, I've got one for you for a Monday. If we didn't tell you enough motivation from before, well, this is another one. Be content with what you have, but never settle for where you are. Mm -hmm. A warm welcome into the second hour here for Wake Up Nigeria, people. Yeah, great way to start second half of the show. Now, there's always something refreshing about each episode. We've had quite a lot already today. Yes, indeed. Some really interesting tech insights and mm -hmm. a, a trip down memory lane. And it has a different vibe today because mm. Mike is back. Yes, indeed, Mike. Yeah. Yep, and we're cooking Afghan soup brunch. Mm. this morning. Brunch, yeah. like uh -huh. you can call it. Is yeah. there anything going in now? Yes. Okay. All right. What's, What's going in next now? Now the time to add the afan. Hey, afan. that is the hey. afan. This is the secret ingredient, <laughs> the main, the major ingredient. Yes. Let's not say secret, yeah. But the afang is coming in now, right? Yes. Mm. Okay. All right. Not the okay. I need to season it. Oh, just okay. A bit, so. All right. All right. We'll get to see how all of that turns out, but then let's go on with what we have for today this morning. Yes, indeed. Now that just shows you that the show is really on its way already mm -hmm. with all of that going on inside of the kitchen. Yeah. This Wake Up Nigeria and the next 45 minutes is going to be even better, more gripping, more exciting. Hey. I just want to give you that one step to greatness here for a Monday. You know why? Because we value every single minute that you spend with us. We're also so glad that it's you indeed. chose us this morning once again. My name is Titilaya Oyinso. My name is Mazino Appeal. Here, remember, you can always use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Follow us on social media. We are at TVC Connect. And remember, you can download the app on Google Play Store or yeah. on iOS. In a yeah. minute, we're going to be letting you guys know exactly how uh, what exactly we have for the rest of the show. Yeah, okay, so Mondays are all about the motivation and we have to have that uh, motivator in the studio to today. We always have a motivation guest, don't we? Yes, indeed. Um, now, uh, we, I'm motivated by these bags I'm seeing. Yeah, you were talking about bags. Goodness today, yeah. me, look at those. There's some amazing pieces. Mm, so Can't you see you, those? Yeah. Tell us yeah. about your love for bags. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to leather goods, there's just something about how real good leather feels. Mm -hmm. There's just soft texture. And then, of course, you guys know I like to carry load a lot. Mm, yes, so you do. any yes, you bag do. that has compartments where I can just put little, 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 <laughs> little things, little bottles of hand sanitizer, body cream, uh, mm. perfume, hair cream, hairspray, I chewing want to say gum. That my, my, experience, what else? <laughs> my experience with leather is very different from your experience with leather. What? Okay. What? No, it's not what you're thinking. Wow, but really? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that was not where I was Mike going. But Zino. Welcome back, Mike. I don't know, I don't know where these guys are now. But what I, I was trying to say is that them. when I ride, if I'm going cross country, I have yeah. to wear leather. Oh, okay. So leather is not something that I'm really enthusiastic about because oh, when you sweat in leather, Oh. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> There's Very a true. certain aura that comes with it. I mean, odor that comes with it. But it's, you just have so to wear it because you're what, traveling. What, yeah, when far. I see when I see the leather for purses, you know, there's some leather that you still feel that natural, mm -hmm. um, that leathery the smell. Smell. Yeah. yeah. But then most of the ones we see after they've been, you know, refined treated, and yeah. treated, yeah. you know, they, it, all that smell yeah. goes off. Doesn't it rub off some of the qualities of the original leather? Um, I think it's just to make it last longer. Mm -hmm. uh, so the real ones that have the skins are different from leathers now, okay. what we see now. And there's so many imitation leathers now that it's yeah, so hard true. to so tell the difference. find out yeah. original yeah. leather, mm -hmm. yeah, like true. leather, leather, And then, of leather. course, the vegans and animal rights activists exactly. out there have sort of tried to kick against, you know, uh, uh, leather, but animals. Skins, well, skins, yes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I know that it's, in Niger it's only in Nigeria I've ever seen people eat leather. Nah, Pomo. <laughs> Only, I've never Please. seen it sold. Free the Pomo, mm. leave Pomo alone. I've never seen it sold as food uh, in any other place. By the way, uh, only last week for the first time in yeah. a long time, I actually ate Pomo. Wow, okay, you um, stopped? I, I never used to eat it. Oh, for okay. real? Yeah. You didn't but like it? It was delicious. <laughs> It was, it was last week, just here, and I'm mm. like, I think I'm gonna have some again this morning. Okay. Okay. It's good. Maybe, so I, maybe that um, that encounter was a good one. That pomo was good. One. Because not, it's not, <laughs> not all pomos. It's not all pomos that you come in contact with and you feel like you should continue the journey. <laughs> yeah. So kudos to that person. But yeah. it's not it's not consistent. That's so your pomo. Have, if, oh, if you've had to cook it or prepare it before. You might not like it as much. Really? The cleaning process, the it's, boiling it's and curing quite, process. It's quite cumbersome. The smell gets in your and hair. And then some people do... Under your nails. And then some people uh. do some extreme <laughs> things to get it clean. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah. Um, I even heard some people use things like 
They all say it. Like Those, drugs, uh, some kind of drugs that we know yeah. to, to clean it. Yeah, there's quite a lot yeah. of people. Why all that work for something that really doesn't because have any... Because it is the most affordable uh, yeah. meat. I'm not even going to call it a protein because it does not contain it protein. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Interesting facts content. there. <laughs> Welcome back again. Second hour here for Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mazino Appeal. Let's do the news. Now we begin in Sokoto State where gunmen suspected to be armed bandits have allegedly attacked the joint military base uh, codenamed Bukunsuma Camp. Located in Sabon Bernie local government area of Sokoto State. Now sources within security circles confirmed to TVC News that 17 persons were killed in the attack and several persons or personnel are still missing. Residents say the bandits came in large number and began shooting at the camp from every side. But a former chairman of Sabon Bernie, Idris Mohammed, confirmed the, uh, to newsmen that the Bukusuma camp was attacked and that several security operators in the camp were still missing. He said the bandits also burnt down two patrol vehicles and carted away another one, which was used to convey food items stolen from the village. He said over 10 trucks conveying armed military personnel are currently in the forest trailing the bandits. A personnel of the Niger Security and Civil Defense Corps who sought for anonymity confirms to our reporters that three of their core members were among the casualties. And operatives of the NDLA have uncovered a hotel in Abuja where drugs are sold and young ladies were being camped for commercial sex. At least four persons, three ladies and a man were arrested when the hotel was raided and some quantity of uh, rohypnol and paraphernalia for smoking crack cocaine were recovered according to a statement signed by the NELEA uh, Director of Media and Advocacy. Now, Femi Babalola said the investigation revealed that the hotel is operated without requisite approvals in a high-profile uh, neighborhood. Chairman Chief Executive of NDLEA Brigadier General Mohamed uh, Barmawa um, has directed the FCT Command and the Directorate of Assets and Financial Investigation of the agency to do all within the law to ensure the property is forfeited to the federal government to serve as deterrent to others. In a related development, two female Part 1 students of Edo State Polytechnic, Babalola Angel, aged 19, and 20-year-old uh, Eshekawe Sonia were arrested with 21 wraps of skunk, another lady, Chiamao Kocha, age 25, was arrested as she tried to deliver 200 grams of crack cocaine to a customer at an eatery in Benin. And outside Nigeria, now polls in Germany have closed in one of the most unpredictable elections in its recent history. With Angela Merkel's conservatives and the center-left Social Democrats in a tight race for her crown as she prepares to leave the political stage. Now, tens of millions of voters headed for polling stations on Sunday to determine the country's next government and the councillor who will lead it. But exit polls show a neck-and-neck -neck race between Merkel's Christian Democrats and rival Social Democrats. The election is the first since the country reunified in 1990 that Merkel will not, uh, will not run in, in, an, in as a candidate. Now, Christian Democrats uh, Min Lachette and Social Democrats Olaf Scholz are frontrunners in the race to replace Merkel as the country's next councillor as she prepares to leave office after 16 years in power. And that's it for the news this morning here. Welcome back. All right, let's talk some motivation digitally, if you know what I mean. We will be discussing the future of digital marketing with Ekundai Ayeni, a digital marketing expert and alumnus of the Harvard University, by the way. You are welcome, Mr. Ayeni. Good to have you here. Thank you. Sure you're not into some politics of some sort or something? Um, that's part of the practice. Ah, there you go, because you look like a senator. In any case, it's good to have you here. All right, Thank so you. let's talk digital marketing. Let's talk about the future. It is the future, whether you like it or not, yeah. when it comes to marketing. We no longer go into people's faces and say, yeah, you have to do this and do that. It's now all digital. You are approached by people, <laughs> tens of thousands of people on your social media handles and all of that. But yeah. what is the future according to Ayeni? Okay, so um, as I used to say, Bill Gates knew what the future was at mm. the time. Went to the software market, built houses ahead, and then wait for people to come and rent it. So we all pay him some sort of money to mm. use the Microsoft team today. Mm. Uh, same thing for digital marketing. A couple of years ago when we started this whole thing, it didn't look like it. It didn't look like the business. Mm -hmm. And then when you take for that insight and you begin to project into the bigger market, into mm. what the future looks like. So there is, um, the Indian market is projected by 2025 by Forbes and all the research they've done 
So they'll be doing uh, about 27 billion uh, USD on an average every quarter mm. for that particular market. Nigeria has a deep penetration where the NCC say we have over 83% uh, penetration mm. currently, much more than any other African country in mm -hmm. terms of internet usage. That makes it come home. We have better systems in terms of um, technology, in terms of banking, than many developed countries. So I'd lived on both sides at the time in the US. They didn't have the cards without with chips. Mm -hmm. And then fraud was very easy. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nigeria developed such and we started using it before they even oh. got there. And then we'll talk about the instant transfer where you sit down here and in two, three seconds I can transfer money to yeah. you and you have instant. Many countries don't even have that yet. So now we'll talk about the future. Now we're talking about the place where we'll talk about AI, um, chatbots, uh, video marketing, um, intrusive marketing. We we'll talk about persuasive mm. technology and how um, your behaviors can be changed. Okay. Your persona can be changed. Now, let me hold you on that one. We'll come back to that. Let's do a quick fact finder. And when we come back, we'll go deeper into this future of digital marketing in just a bit. Welcome back, and we're still talking about the future of digital banking here in Nigeria, even with INE. Now, you were talking about penetration. You were also talking about the fact that um, we are at an advanced stage in Nigeria ourselves, even yeah. farther than other countries, exactly. even Westernly. So, um, also, part of the things you want to look at is um, uh, in corporate comms. Now, mm -hmm. you find that the budget for digital marketing has increased. The demand for personnel has increased. Um, the use of technology, we have more um, uh, user engagement and more persona builds on the AI system now. Mm -hmm. So if you have some time, you can do some research. They build stuff for you specifically on your social media now. Mm -hmm. The kind of content you see, the kind of things you like, the kind of ads you serve directly is based on maybe your browser usage. Yeah. And then it's as bad as now that we have voice search yeah. uh, coming up heavily. So you're around your laptop, you're around your phone, you're having a conversation, then an hour later, they begin to serve you such no. content. Now, is that true? Because I had an argument with my wife about it's this very, being very real. True. Is it true? Yeah, it's very true, so especially for when your device is not properly Are you saying secured. that if I say something like um, speedo jackets, speedo jackets, speedo jackets, uh, so in, in an hour, perhaps, in an hour, perhaps I you begin to see content that look like it. So it shows that there's some <laughs> sort of listening that is happening wow. that you're not aware of. Now, with all of this, how can we take advantage of everything that you have just talked about? Yes, individuals, as companies or establishments. So, so um, knowing all of these, first you sit back and look at, okay, what's the best way for my business to engage this? So. When Nokia yeah. started, for example, they were a stationary company, mm -hmm. and then they grew to become a technology company, mm -hmm. and now we know what they are. So the whole idea is how far mm -hmm. do we want to go with what we're doing? Mm. What's the projection? How do we move from where we are to where we want to be in terms of technology usage? 
the size of technology that we need, um, you know, back in the days, there's somewhere called server room. We no yeah. longer have that. So we now have a lot of cloud services. So do we intend to migrate our data there? What is our user definition? So mm. we need to look at the average persona. What's their psychography? Uh, what's the psychography of my potential future user? What would be their user interest? What kind of engagement are they going to use? Are they going to be using more video to get what they want from mm -hmm. us or they will still go to my website. Are they going to be more mobile? Will I develop more apps? For example, one of the biggest business you can run now is like a dating app. Let me take that as a case study. Mm. In the nearest future, where we're doing a lot of remote work now, everybody want to do remote work. How do I meet somebody to date? It would be online. Online. So, and, you know, we carried out some research and we noticed we ran a campaign, um, for example, for a client in March. Mm -hmm. And in less than a month of running the campaign, we've made revenues close to 50 million for the clients. Oh, wow. Um, just by so getting people would to download and wanting to make So it would behoove partners. any establishment or individual who's running a business to actually then embrace digital yeah. and be specific about how they're embracing these digital uh, exactly. um, functions. Now, say for instance, maybe uh, someone as, let's just say I, I do, I run a declutter business. I sell secondhand or thrift business. I sell secondhand uh, stuff or exchange. Okay. How would you tailor or ask this person to tailor their use of digital media? So, uh, practically those kind of business are visually driven, mm -hmm. not content written mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So, uh, what are the biggest um, channels where I can place these things. Do I want to do it based on myself? Then I need to pick hashtags. Mm. I need to pick um, um, the kind of platforms I want to use, which includes Instagram and maybe Facebook. Visual. And then visual. Mm. So Twitter may not be the best no. way to go around that. Um, then you talk about a bit of maybe Snapchat here and there. Mm. And then the stories you tell yeah. around it. Because do people it, read these stories? Do they read captions? Do, so, do they so, read? so these stories can be done using the video stories. Oh, so for I example, get you, you get maybe one of these songs and then oh. you do something around it, showing people you can purchase these at a discount rate and put timelines and then understand the user behavior in terms of saying, oh, this is 50% off, 10% off. So that's yeah. metrics of making the user... Do, do hashtags, are they really effective? How effective are hashtags? Because I don't so, think we've come so, around so, to so using them So properly. people begin to follow hashtags these days. So there are certain hashtags some guys follow. And then uh, if you select certain kind of hashtag and then you post the content, you will notice that maybe you have more likes or you have more followers for the day. So you need to look at what are the trending hashtags for that particular season. Mm -hmm. And then how to jump on... Um, existing engagement. So, for example, it's as simple as um, you have a competitor or maybe a business who is doing something like what you just said now, mm -hmm. the, the bigger uh, business, and then you're a small player in the yeah. industry. Go follow, see what they're doing, immediately post the content, have the conversation there, you know, give support. Yeah. Or, for example, uh, there is something that we talked about, uh, guerrilla marketing. So, I'll yeah, just give exactly. them a clue about how to use guerrilla marketing. That is guerrilla marketing. Okay. So, you go follow some of the big um, engagement pages that has maybe a million, two million, mm -hmm. put notification that immediately they post the content, you want to be the first person to comment. Mm -hmm. So immediately they put the content there, be the first to comment. You control the whole narrative. Yeah. Now what happens is that for being the first person to comment and your comment looks maybe good, bad, maybe I don't care what kind of content mm -hmm. you put there now, you would begin to get high engagement and high followership. So oh, yeah. that is how to get followers for yourself first. Hmm. So using the gorilla so technique So you're online. like a parasite. You're clinging on exactly. to these so big guys and making sure you're the first it's a, to... It's a yoki model. Yeah. Also. So <laughs> you're on TV now and you're having good followership. If I want to get followership for myself, I call you to do Instagram Live with yeah. me. Yeah. And then we'll get on Instagram Live. Interesting. Your followers begin to follow me. Uh, tell you what, Ayeni, we have one assignment for you. Okay. It's inside the kitchen. <laughs> I, I need you to make whatever it is we've had ready for you today trend suggest the best hashtag for us and how to go about pushing this gorilla style okay <laughs> all right so why don't we let's just invite you already to the kitchen here where mike and titi are ready i mean okay. this is this this guy you guys milk him please <laughs> okay welcome welcome thank welcome. you we got this ready for you um chef yeah because you put this together um just tell us very fast how do we get to okay. this stage this is afan soup mm. made by was oh. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, aka Triple G is my business name. That's good. Yeah. Okay, number one, Afan soup is a, a calabash soup from a Kwai bomb. Mm. 
this made of what's a leaf and okazi okay. leaf. So you want you want to try it? Yeah, okay. that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just try it. Let's yeah. um, get to know what wow. you think yeah. about it. Find out what the verdict is. Okay. <laughs> You want to mm. try some meat there, or you don't? Ah, are you a, are you a vegetarian <laughs> or something? <laughs> no, uh, this makes sense. Oh. <laughs> so I have, I have take away, right? Who <laughs> <laughs> makes sense? Mm. Yes. Mm. What do you think? Fantastic. Wonderful. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you for coming. That's All right, that's response. it. Yeah. All right, that's our show today. It's been a wonderful Monday morning. Thank mm -hmm. you for being a part of the show. Big shout out to everyone who's part of the show. Yeah. Mazino. Uh, you still have motivation for us? No, I don't, but we, we, we've had enough motivation for today. Okay, All I'm going wonderful. to say, guys, is just, wonderful. hey, have a great week ahead of you. Make it what it is or what you want it to be. All right. Did you have any words? Yeah, it's great to have Mike back. Welcome mm. back, Mr. Messi. Be yeah. like Mike. Should I do my victory yeah. dance? Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> See you all later. See you all later. Bye. Bye.